What's up you guys hope you're all doing good and welcome to our a dream dot channel once again for those who are visiting our channel for the first time let me quickly introduce myself I'm Jagdeep a software developer with around 10 years of experience in our channel we have been trying to cover the basics of java programming if you are interested in learning java from the fundamentals don't forget to check out our channel in this video we are going to talk about one important keyword in java called as throws so this is an continuation of the previous videos like exception handling in java and how you can throw exceptions in java so this is just an extension of those if you have missed those videos don't forget to check it out to reiterate what we have seen in the previous part video like we have seen how we can throw an exception by making use of a throw keyword so to reiterate what we have seen we wrote a method called as a check eligibility where it going to check the eligibility of the employees if the salary of an employee is more than 75000 and if his age is more than 50 we don't consider that employee uh, for the promotion so we throw or we throw an ineligible exception and we also found a reason like why should we throw an exception because if i don't want to handle each and every scenario in a specific way and if all those scenarios like should be handled in a generic way then it's better to throw an exception and handle it in a generic way then why should i use a throws throws is something like here we throw the exception and we handle it like within this particular method so but in java the right way of handling these kinds of exception is the exception should be thrown to the place from where the method is actually being called and which is the clean way of coding and that is where we have to make use of the throws a keyword if you wanted to throw something out of this method and it should be handled in the place from where it has been called then we can make use of the throws for instance let me make it very clear like if i am not going to handle this particular exception over here and this is an exception which our code has thrown it is not the exception that is thrown by java or the compiler or the jvm it is the programmer who has thrown this particular exception and he doesn't want to handle the exception in this particular method and he wanted to traverse or move this exception to the caller because there could be multiple places which will call a common method so it is and each place where you call this method would like to handle the exception in a specific way so if you have handled the exception in this particular method it may not go well on all the scenarios for example here i have called it from the main method i may have to handle the exception in one specific way or someone else from some other class if they are calling the same method they might have to handle this exception in some other way so it's not the right way to handle the exception in the method it's always better you just throw the exception from this method and let the caller decide how they wanted to handle this particular exception so for that java has given us a keyword called as a throws even in the editor like if you throw a particular exception it will give you a warning and it will say either you can have to surround with a try catch or you have to throws declaration so in the previous video we have seen how to surround with a try catch and get rid of this error so adding throws declaration is in your method definition so it will use the keyword called as throws and it will throw the exception so whatever the exception you are throwing from this particular place will be thrown over here and if you do this the caller will run into an error saying that this exception has not been handled over here and here you need to handle it with an try catch and you see exception over here so this is what is called as the throws a keyword and how you can throw an exception from this particular thing and i have told you the reason why you should use the throws keyword because that could be multiple places which calls your method and they might have to handle the uh, errors in their own specific way so it's always better to throw the exception to the caller and the caller will decide how to handle this exception now if you have thrown this exception from this method using the throws keyword the exception will come over here in this try block and it will be caught in this particular exception hope you found this video informative if you really like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting videos i'll meet you in the next exciting video soon thank you